Everyone standing over the building, if you can. And if you will, everyone standing. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful. Merciful and wise, God, once again, Lord, yes, we Lord. want to say thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, we want to thank you for waking us up on this morning, Lord Jesus. Blood running warm in all veins, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. The activities of our limbs, Lord Jesus. And for that, Lord Jesus, we are grateful, Lord Jesus. Yes, we want to ask you right now, Lord, to forgive us of all of our sins and all of our transgressions. In Jesus' name, Lord, we ask you to continue to wash us and cleanse us, Lord, from the inside out, Lord Jesus. Wash us, Lord, that we might become as white as snow, Lord. And Father God, renewing us the right spirit, Lord Jesus. A spirit to acknowledge you as Lord and Savior, Lord. A spirit to give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praises in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to ask you, Lord, forgive us all of our sins once again, Lord Jesus. All of our sins, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you right now, Lord Jesus. We pray and ask right now, Lord, that you bless the service, Lord Jesus. I ask you to bless, Father God, every song that is going to be sung, Lord. And Father God, we pray and ask that you bless the word that has come forth, Lord Jesus. We thank you for everyone that is present with us right now, Lord. Those that are on their way, Lord Jesus. Those that are tuning in live right now in Jesus' name. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to bless, Lord, from the youngest to the oldest, Lord. From the oldest to the youngest, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to bless the choir that is going to be leading us in praise and worship on today, Lord. We ask you to bless the musician, Lord. Those that is going to lead a song, Lord. Father God, we ask you to bless them in Jesus' name, Lord. We ask you to bless, Lord Jesus, our pastor, oh, yeah. Bishop Terry Jackson, Lord Jesus. Remember his companion, Lord Jesus. Continue, Lord, to give her clarity of speech, Lord Jesus. Father God, we ask you to touch her body, Lord. We ask you to bless all the deacons, Lord Jesus, and their family, their spouses, Lord, oh, yeah. loved ones, Lord Jesus. Father God, all the missionaries, the mother of the church, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to continue to bless everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord. Father God, go into the home with Brother Moore right now. Touch his body, Lord Jesus. Give him strength, Lord Jesus. Work things out, Lord Jesus. So, Father God, that he can be with us once again, Lord. Now, Father God, we ask you to bless us real good, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your loving kindness, Lord Jesus. Father God, we pray and ask that you bless those, Lord Jesus, that who are striving, those that are striving, Father God, for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, Lord. We ask you to bless them, Lord Jesus. Let them truly repent, Lord Jesus. Father God, show them, them, Lord Jesus, for that they be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And Father God, those that who don't know, Father God, the plan of salvation, Lord. Father God, we pray that they will ask for forgiveness of their sin. We pray that they be baptized in the name of Jesus and filled with the precious gifts of the Holy Ghost. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless the service on the day. Bless everything, Father God. Bless the word that is going to come forth. And, Father God, if you do these things for us, Lord, we are ever so grateful, Lord Jesus, to give your name the glory. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen again.
Notice for your scripture reading, the 84th, 80, 84th division of Psalms, 80, 84th Psalms. Feel like going on. Yes, sir. We're a little sluggish today. So I'm still sick. We've been in prayer service for those who've been watching us over the airways. We are just a little tired. But we're still alive in the Lord. Flesh is weak. But the spirit truly is willing. 84th Division of Psalms. If you have it, say, I got the word. I got the word. Read four verses of the 84th Psalm. It says, how amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. Yes, sir. Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, mm -hmm. and the swallow a nest for herself, yes, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Yes, Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee. We thank God we're in these four verses of the 84th division of Psalms. May we are truly at a blessed reading of his word. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. We're going to be singing forever the praises of God. You got a hand, praise everybody. Go ahead and praise everybody. Hallelujah. You got a hand, praise everybody. Hallelujah. We see the fifth of day prayer. Give a hand, praise everybody. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. But we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Another song by the Youth of Christ Choir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven, he came down. Oh, what a joy I found. 
I love him, I love him. I said I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. Hallelujah. At this time, you're going to ask Sister Lane and she will come and give us our welcome address and our announcement at this time. Let's greet her with a hearty amen. 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 believers, but I thank and I praise God for that song. Thank you, you to Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to our pastor, Bishop Terry Jackson, to our first lady, Sister Paula Jackson, Mother Harris, deacons, missionaries, saints, friends, visitors, everyone tuning in on our various platforms, and my husband. Welcome to True Vine Apostolic Church of Christ. We're located at 925 Old Buckford Road in the city of Hampton, Virginia. At this time, we would like to welcome our visitors. We have Miss Patricia Elliott, and she's visiting, visiting us all the way from the west coast of Tucson, Arizona. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us. Hallelujah. And not only she came here via Facebook, but she came to be a part of our 50 Days of Prayer experience. And I thank and I praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you thinking about us. We appreciate you joining us. Do enjoy, hallelujah, the liberty of praising God as we worship God in the beauty, in the true beauty of holiness. Thank you, Lord. At this time, our April birthdays, April birthdays, please stand. All those celebrating birthdays in the month of April, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Happy birthday. Our first lady is not in here. Her birthday is coming up as well next week on the 18th. Her birthday is on the 18th, and Sunshine's birthday is on the 19th. So do enjoy. Happy birthday, and Alicia, yours is coming up. God bless you. And um, I see you back there, Kevin. So happy birthday to all the April birthdays. <coughs> the kitchen's 
staff is selling dinners immediately after morning worship. The menu is livers and onions, turkey with gravy, uh, rice with gravy, string beans. All dinners include rolls, cake, and a soda, and the cost is $12. So please um, patronize the kitchen. They have an endeavor and a goal to meet, so please patronize the kitchen. Anyone who, would, uh, who have taken pictures during our banquet and would like to purchase a package or individual pictures, please see Sister Lanisha Lane to make your purchase and to make your order. Next Saturday, April the 13th, the church will be traveling to um, get Mount Gethsemane Holiness Church in Maryland. The service begins at 3 p.m. The address is 676. Pondwood Road, Huntington, Maryland, 20639, where Bishop Robert D. Watts is the pastor. <coughs> Our pastor, Bishop Jackson, will be the guest speaker for that service. If you're, if you're planning on attending and need transportation, please add your name to the list in the hospitality room. On April the 20th, Sister Polly Jackson will be sponsoring a yard sale. Please contact Sister Wright to make your table purchase. The cost is $10. The yard sale begins at 8 a.m. and it runs until. On April the 27th at 6.30 p.m., Bishop Wilfred Banks will be celebrating his 17th pastoral anniversary with the banquet to be held at Hampton Baptist Church, 40 Kingsway, Hampton, Virginia, 23669. Um, please use the Wine Street entrance to enter the facility. Children, three and under, will be eating free. Children, 11, 4 through 11, $25. 12 and old, older is $40. Please see Sister Codwell to make your payment no later than next Sunday, which is April the 14th. May 16th through the 18th, True Vine Apostolic Church of Christ will be having its first shut-in service beginning at 10 p.m. on Thursday, May the 16th through Saturday, May the 18th. We will be fasting, praying, singing, teaching, and being restored. Please come on out looking to have a high time in the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you for your loving heart and your helping hand. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for being a blessing to the junior youth department. And this is coming from the junior youth department to Sister Pearson. They want to thank you for all your contribution that you've given to the junior youth. Yes. We are continuing our 50 days of prayer. Sundays after morning worship, we'll be praying, and Monday to Saturday at 7 p.m. Please continue to bring your oil, place them on the altar, as well as your prayer requests to be placed in the prayer box. Uh, this coming week, the male chorus may not be in rehearsal. However, they'll be singing on next Sunday. Please govern yourself accordingly. Pray for the sick and the shutting, as well as pray for each other. Pray my strength in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks, Mr. Lane, for those announcements. Thank the Lord. Let's give our visitor another hand. At this time, you're going to have a selection by the junior youth. All right, now.
Hallelujah. Let's give our future church Janetta hand. Hallelujah. Uh, at this time, we're going to have a presentation. Let's greet Mother Harris with a hearty amen and a hand clap. Praise the Lord again, saints. I want to give honor to Jesus, who is the head of my life, to our bishop, Bishop Jackson, to our first lady, uh, Mother Paulette Jackson. She's not here, but we're praying for her. We just want to thank everybody that participated with the junior youth uh, spaghetti dinner a few Saturdays ago. And uh, we didn't complete our presentation. So we're going to do our presentation for the junior youth. Just bear with us for a little bit. They doing such a great job. Give them another hand. The Lord put it on my heart to do something for them. And um, I was thinking about mother. <laughs> because this is something she would do. And I just thank God for Amen. being raised in a safe family where we had a mother that taught us how to help and how to give and how to just bless the saints. And that's all I want to do. Okay. And we're going to ask the children as we call your name, we want you to come and stand. Once you get your little gift, we want you to stand still. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, Kennedy Love. Corinne Love. Okay. Jaden Jackson. better than your daddy. You did a good job today. You are a child of God. King Mal. Everybody know King. King has 
I think he was born playing the town. <laughs> he gonna stick that tongue out and he gonna play. King, we thank you for being a great piano, a tambourine player. You are a child of God. Matthew Smith. Three, Matthew learned every song in the children. He is a great listener. And we thank God for Matthew. He is a child of God. Matthew Mosquito. how he feel. <laughs> but he is a child of God. And he's a beginner, so he got to get used to being in the choir. And we thank God for all our babies. Amen. Isaiah Mosquito. You a great singer. You are a child of God. You stand beside your brother. Darice Bimbo. Darice. Darice has come a long way. She used to be so shy and everything. You see that voice this morning, that voice getting strong and strong. That read. <laughs> you sang better than your mama. Uh -huh. <laughs> you you stay on the key. <laughs> 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 so big. Yeah. CJ, we love you, and we thank you for participating with the junior youth. You are a child of God. Yeah. Genesis Jordan. Genesis is another one I knew member. She just come up the age where she can sing. And she's doing a good job paying attention and participating. It's kind of hard for children to clap and move at the same time, but they do a good job. Genesis, you are a child of God. Jackson Jordan. Oh, 
Another beginner. He's doing a good job. He's kind of shy, but he's up there singing, so he's doing his best, right, Jackson? Say, I am a child of God. Look at it. Here you go. You want to hold it? Okay. Nia Wright. I definitely have to say something about Nia. She was so shy, she was shaped. And I thank God had brought her out of that shyness. She leads songs, she clap her hands. God is good, he can do anything, anything. And Nia, we thank you for being a great child of God. Aubrey Wright. Me and sister, you know, they follow suit, but Aubrey used to cry all the time. You don't see her crying now. She wants to sing and she wants to participate. We thank God for allowing Aubrey to get out of her shyness and crying and being a good child of God. And we have Hayden. I don't, I don't know Hayden's last name. Hayden McQueef. I'm going to tell you, Hayden loves church. She got her microphone at home. She praying for folks. She laying hand on her mama. But it's like it's not really working. But so. <laughs> but but I'm going to encourage Hayden to keep trying. <laughs> Keep praying for your mama. <laughs> but, but Hayden is a new, new uh, choir member, and she's not shy at all. She's a little usher too, so she's gonna usher. She's gonna bring you a pain. So we thank God for Hayden. Hayden, thank you for being a child of God. Keenan Love. Okay, Keenan. Been uh, Keenan been kind of like my baby since he was born. Keenan is very talented. Very talented. God got something special for this young man. He can play a bass like you don't know what. I go over the house sometimes. He got that thing just rocking, and I just thank God when they. Uh, uh, He's obedient. He's obedient. Kind of a little overzealous, but he'll be all right. He'll be all right. They're children. And we just thank God for Keenan. We thank God for you being a great child of God. Caleb Love. Opposite. He's he's more quiet, quieter. Oh, that's not the one. <laughs> I think, thank God, he's a good drummer. He's talented too. That, that, I tell you, everything we need in the house, God got it. This is the future church. This is our future church, and they uh they follow the too. We're getting them examples, and they they doing what we show them how to do. Because they can mock you. They will mock you. Like Bishop used to do when we was coming up. You get in that house and mock everybody in church. These children do the same thing. They play church. But we thank God for you, me and I. I God. Amen. Okay. Okay. Now, we want to make... Honorary, 
have to have a childlike spirit in order to lead to people. And we thank God, our pastor, man, even though he my brother, but my pastor got a heart of gold. He has a heart of gold. He'll give you whatever he have on his back, he'll give it to you. And I just thank God for him because I love him. Bishop, from the junior youth, we want to present you with this trophy as an honorary child of God. We had one more, but, but uh, First Lady not here. Is she, in, okay, we wanted to present her with an honorary child of God. So, Boo you want to come and get this for your mom? Oh, she, she, that's right. You say, who you got? We had two children that's not here. Uh, Emmy Thomas, you know, uh, brother man, uh, granddaughter. Amen. She got a sweet, pretty smile. Yes. That, that's a loving little baby. Yes. And she is a child of God. And then we have Zoe Hinton. She's not here. Uh, your grandbaby, right? Yeah. Lakia daughter. Is Lakia here? Okay, but she's a child of God. We thank God. Yeah. Come on, first lady. Mr. Jackson, the junior youth would like to thank you for the Sunday breakfast every Sunday. And we'd like to present you with this honorary Child of God Amen. trophy. <laughs> thank you, and that ends our presentation. Did you want to take pictures with Bishop? We'll do it afterwards. Take pictures with you and, and Mother. Yeah, why they up here? Y'all come stay up here.
Hallelujah. Real soft, Trey. Real soft. At this time, we're going to go ahead and lift our offering and get the rest of the preliminaries out of the way. But Deacon Tinley is standing on my right side, and with Deacon Lane is standing on my left side, that's for your tithes and your general offering. Your tithing and your general offering. The basket in which I hold in the middle is a love offering for the speaker of the hour. At this time, we ask you to stand with your tithing and your offering in your hand at this time. Let us bless the offering for this time. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come this time to lift an offering before you. Set more blessed to give than to receive. Father God, we pray to bless all those who have an offering to give and bless those who have not an offering to give. They shall be able to give the next point of time. Father God, bless those who are watching us live over the airways, Lord God, who are giving into this ministry, Lord God. Pray that I will pour out to them a blessing of at this time in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And return back to the people some 100 fold in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen.
because one day somebody's going to tell them when they get older, they may not remember everything, but they're going to look back and see themselves on video. That you got to be a child of God on a special day. Think of all our young people right now. We have another song about you for Christ. After you for song you for Christ, service being handed by Pastor Bishop Terry Jackson. You for Christ, then I pass. Give my hand, everybody.
Another praise. Come on, get God another praise in this house. You do a little bit better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before, before we go any further. We still under the weather, but God is still good in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go, we're on that fifty day prayer. And so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do our prayer now. You know what I mean? In Jesus' name, we'll call uh Deacon Richardson, you come on and uh, do our prayer in Jesus' name. bow our heads. Oh, wise Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you right now, God. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Lord, we thank you for the 50 days of prayer that we in, oh God. We ask, oh Lord, that you bless us right now as we go through, Lord. We're going to press our way right now, oh God. Lord, we're looking for something from you, oh God. We ask that you bless us in a mighty way, oh God. Lord, we're going to be calling on your name, oh God. We're giving you all the praise, Jesus, and we're giving you all the honor, oh God. Lord, we're expecting, oh God, for you to do something in our life, oh God. Make a miracle right now, oh God. Make a way out of the way right now, oh God. Open doors, oh God, that seem to be shut right now. Lord, we know, God, that you're able, oh God, to speak a word over our lives right now, oh God. Speak healing in our lives right now, oh God. Speak deliverance right now, oh God. Save our children right now, oh God. And save our loved ones, oh God. So many are lost right now, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you're going to the hospital right now, oh God. Touch the sick right now, oh God. Touch Brother Moore right now, oh God. Touch the first lady of the church, oh God. Touch the mother of the church, oh God. Bless Sister Richardson right now, oh God. Touch her body, oh God, as only you can, oh God. Lord, we know all healing is in your hand, oh God. So we lean in, oh God, and we depending on you, oh God. Lord, we realize we can't do nothing on our own, oh God. We realize that you's a God with all power, oh God. And we realize, God, that there's nothing that you can't do, oh God. So we're putting our trust 
trust in you, O oh God. Lord, Satan desires to sift us, O oh God, as we, O oh God. But we ask that you uphold us right now, O oh God, in these last and evil days, O oh God. Don't let the devil steal our joy, O oh God. Encourage our hearts right now, O oh God, that we may continue to run this race, O oh God. Lord, we're pressing for the mark right now, O oh God. We're striving, O oh God, and we're trying to make a hundred, O oh God, because we know that 99 and a half just won't do, O oh God. Touch our hearts right now, O oh God, and touch our minds right now, O oh God. Give us the mind to want to serve you, O oh God. Help us to talk right, O oh God. Help us to live according to your word, O oh God. Lord, rebuke us right now, O oh God, and forgive us of all our transgressions, O oh God. Wash us, O oh God, that we may be white as snow, O oh God. Clean us from the inside out, O oh God. Creating us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit in us, O oh God. We ask, O oh God, that you bless the man of God right now, O oh God, that's standing on the wall, O oh God, in this sin-sick world, O oh God. Uphold him, O oh God. Strengthen him right now, O oh God. Give him the strength to run on right now, O oh God. Touch his body right now, O oh God. Touch his finances right now, O oh God. Touch his family right now, O oh God. Give him all his heart's desires right now, O oh God. And we thank you for all that you've done, Jesus. We thank you for all that you're doing, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, O oh God. Lord, we realize, O oh God, that we didn't get here on our own, O oh God, but it was you, O oh God, making a way out of no way, O oh God. Even when we didn't know, O oh God, what we was doing, O oh God, you seen us, O oh God, way down the road, O oh God, and you made true fine, O oh God. And we ask, O oh God, that you take us to higher heights, O oh Lord, and to deeper depths, O oh God. Make this church, O oh God, a hospital, O oh God, for those that are lost, O oh God, and those that are looking, wanting to be saved, O oh God. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We give you all the honor, Lord, and we give you all the praise. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Get God. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated in the household of faith. Thank you, Jesus. No way. Get on to my Lord and say, Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life. He is the author. He is the finisher of my faith. He's the first and the last. Beginning and the end and out for an omega, which is, which was, which is to come, the almighty God. He kings of kings and he lords of lords. The God I serve stands high. He look mighty low. The God I serve, he can rearrange. The road's been crooked, but the God that I serve can straighten anything out. Ain't nothing too hard for God. All things is possible if we just believe in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for my wife. Thank God for mother of the church, all the deacons, all the missionaries, saints, and friends. Thank God for the visit of travel long ways. God bless you, baby. You look like you're from South Carolina. <laughs> she, she remind me of uh, uh, Bishop uh, Fulton. Uh, she remind me of Bishop Fulton, congregation out of South Carolina. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'm glad that you came by and spent some time with us. Hallelujah to God. We'll be believing praise in the name of the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, we Holy Ghost feel fire baptized, serve one God. If there's another God, he'll know nothing about it. And I don't know nothing about it. I can't serve two masters at the same time. Hallelujah to God. But I thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. He's the only one that we answer to. I'm like the apostle. Who will I obey, God or man? I obey God. Hallelujah. The creator of all means. Hallelujah to God. We ain't gonna be for you long. You know, we still under the weather. I was doing good for that little of the night. You know what I mean? Like I had a little setback, but it's all good. But that still don't stop the work of the Lord. Do you hear me now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. COVID didn't stop the shipyard from working. 
It ain't stop that from working. It didn't stop the ABC store. It didn't stop the drug dealer. It ain't stop them homosexuals. It ain't stop them old faggots. Yeah, it was out there. In Jesus' name. It ain't stop nothing. You know what I mean? But it did one thing that it did do. One thing that it did do. It stopped people that going to church. And it closed the church doors down. But thank God, Mother Harris, we are one. I don't know we the only one, but we are the one in this area never closed our door. And I am one that never wore a mask. Because I, because he gets sick, somebody called on the elders of the church. Somebody got to get him and get saved. Somebody got to be bold enough and trust God. And I believe the word of God. He that dwell in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Thousand on one side, ten thousand. It would not come now to you. That scripture coming alive to me. It wasn't alive before, but it's alive now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah to God. If I don't be for you long, don't get mad at me. Don't charge it to my head or my heart. So you got to charge it to nothing. <laughs> you can tell by my voice, ain't, 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 what, ain't, ain't. And you see how I'm dressed up here. I come straight. You know I me, mean? I'm going on. Don't say it, huh? It don't mean nothing. My sister said it don't mean nothing. But I heard my daddy whispering in my ear, take it easy, son. It's another day. You can't tell it all in one day. You got to, your body, your body do break down, but you have to take your time so you can live longevity. Yeah, you been, so I'm, I'm learning to take my time, you know what I mean, so I can be able to preach another day. You ain't got to preach an hour to get in that damn cross. You know, well, sometimes you do have to preach an hour to get something to cross. <laughs> But open your Bible. <laughs> I had to cover. I got to cover myself all around. You know what I mean? Because I'm dealing. I'm dealing with these members here. <laughs> I'm dealing with these people here. These members. You know what I mean? You and I thank God for True Vine Apostolic Church members. You, 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 you ain't gonna roll nothing over them like talking about it. You, you just ain't gonna come in here. You know what I mean? And, and just. Just do what you want to do, say what you want to say, and they don't recognize you. One thing about True Vine Apostolic members, they know a false spirit. Thank God that you recognize a false spirit. Because spirit is all over the land. You know what I mean? And you recognize, you know, everything that speak in tongue ain't the Holy Ghost. Everything that jump up and down ain't the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to God. And, and then you always have that divination spirit in the house. You always have that. Hallelujah to God. They tell the truth, but it's aggravating. It's aggravating. I mean, you are. These are the men of the most high. These are the men of the most high. Every time the apostle Paul get the move, he got somebody. These are the men of the most high. He telling the truth because they was the men of the most high. But it was a spirit. He had to turn around and rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. There's power in his name. Hallelujah to God. Everything ought to bow down to Jesus. Luke the fifth chapter. Don't have 
nothing new. Don't have nothing new. Don't worry about it. I don't have the COVID. I ain't worrying about the COVID. Can't catch the COVID. God cover me. Because I have to preach every Sunday. So he got to make sure that he cover me. And I'm standing on his word to cover me. Because if you think about it, if I do catch the COVID, that means you had to call the health department. They'll do a little investigation. Then you'll shut down churches. God ain't gonna shut down his own church. Upon this rock, he said, I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mother Harris, for a beautiful presentation that you did. Amen. For the young people. That was, that was beautiful. And something else that your mother would have done. Mama would have done it. She's the only woman that know that goes in the drug den, heroin addicts, drug addicts, dope dealers, walk right in the crowd like it ain't nothing. That's my mother. She didn't go uptown, she went downtown. Go get the drugs out of Do the kids motherless. Feed the little children. We all in the projects. We everywhere in the projects. Feeding the children, taking care of the people. You can't, we live in a time now and the people won't give up. Lord have mercy. So many stingy people in this world. You bless among measures. Lord, I open up a window in heaven and pull you out a blessing. And you still trying to count somebody else's money. Come on, sir. Ain't that something? And the first thing you see, he or she, they need to go get some help. What you there for? James said. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The scripture said. Yeah, I mean, the scripture said. If your brother asks for food, he ain't say, pray, give him food. Give them what they need. Oh, I pray for it. We, we, we're doing that anyway. Here you got $1,000 in your pocket. Won't get a brother $2. Shame on you. Amen. Amen. You know my, pay, uh, you know my paycheck away from being broke. Something to happen to you. You got one check. That's the check you have in the hole. If God don't intervene, it be gone. Come on, sir. This brother, this man on the corner over here, like he just, he just, like he be waiting for me on Sunday mornings. He just know I'm going to give him something. I'm going to drive past him, though. I went on the other side because the traffic was bagged up. He spotted me. <laughs> I was on that. I came, I came across the bridge and half the interstate. You was come off the interstate. You know what I mean? I came this way. He's standing there looking at me and said, like, what you doing? He's talking about. 
It's funny. You got hustlers fighting for position. <laughs> you got hustlers. You got hustlers. This is my corner. This is my corner. <laughs> They fight for position. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 talk about you need <laughs> He said, the brother took his spot. <laughs> you need to go to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said, you need to go to rehab. I'm going to go to corner. <laughs> Oh my God, man, man, this way is funny. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all forgot, I forgot. I'm, I'm dealing with holding down people. Y'all don't like to have no good time. Y'all like laughing. Y'all got the wrong pastor. <laughs> got the wrong one. If I ain't gonna laugh, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Laughter soothes the soul. When you're going through so much, you have to cr laugh so you won't cry. People don't know what you're really going through. Amen. They look at you, but they don't know what really the story. You can look the fifth chapter, beginning at the first verse. What time is a mother? Give me time. I'm be what? what time you got? Huh? Two seventeen. You got your alarm set? Set it to two thirty. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. It came to pass. And it came to pass. Everybody got Luke the fifth chapter. Okay. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them. And were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draw. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. That's it. I, I'm just, just, on, just going to round and to encourage you. Uh, my little text coming out of that. Say it a plenty of time before we say it again. Nevertheless, at thy word, at thy word, I'm going to drop down. Sometimes you got to hear a word from the Lord. In spite of what they was going through, they said, nevertheless, hallelujah, have that word. And uh, you got to know that the, the word of God is forever. It's subtle in heaven. The word of God that we are talking about is preached unto you. And this is what we're preaching is the word of God. The Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word should never pass away. Hallelujah to God. You got to understand the word of God is a proven instrument. The word of God is sharper than two its wounds. Yes, it is. Pierce even to the diviner, a son of the soul and of the spirit. Hallelujah. Gets into the joint and the marrows. Talk to me, somebody. It's a discerner of your thoughts. Hallelujah to God. And understand that God knew what they was going through. And here, uh, Jesus was coming over this side. And the people, people was pressed to hear the word of God. People ain't pressed to hear nothing today. People ain't pressed to come to church today. 
They rather stay home and look at you instead of getting up and go to church. I'm going to talk in a minute. But they'll get up and go to work. But they'll get up and go to Walmart. They'll get up and go to 7-Eleven. They'll get up and go to the corner. But nobody press to hear the word of God. Everything going down but the word of God. Thank God that I got a word from the Lord. And once I hear a word from the Lord, then God know he can answer my prayer. Because he's a prayer answering God. And I have to go somewhere to hear a word. And sometimes we struggle through this situation. Life brings us down. But God told us to hold on. Just a little while longer. He that endures to the end. The same shall be saved. And here these boys, they was out torn all night long. And when they toured all night long, they came back to shore. And Jesus told them to launch out just a little bit because he wanted to preach a word to the mother tools of people. But he didn't, under, he, didn't under, he didn't care about the men's work all night long. They struggled all night long trying to make ends meet and didn't bring in nothing. But when God came on the scene, now, before God do a blessing to you, he got to give you a word. Now, nevertheless, I that word. And they was out there torn all night long. I'm about done already. Don't push me. They torn all night long. And when they torn all night long, they came. Jesus told Simon the to launch out. And he started preaching the word. And after he preached the word to the people, he told them to launch further out in the deep. When they launched out in the deep, Jesus told them to, to drop your net. Uh, and when he told them to drop their net, uh, hallelujah, the boy said, Jesus, we done torn all night long. Uh, but nevertheless, at that word, uh, we're going to drop our net. Uh, and I'm here to encourage you. Uh, Jesus, I've been afflicted all night long. But nevertheless, at that word, I'm going to cry again. Hallelujah to God. And God need to give us a word to encourage us. Everything going to be all right. If you notice the boys, they did not question God. They did exactly what Jesus told them to do. Uh, without mumbling and complaining. Uh, even though they torn all night long. Uh, anybody torn all night long. And, and some nights is longer than other nights. Uh, and some of y'all been torn for year and year out. Uh, and it's like nothing haven't changed yet. Uh, and you haven't brought nothing back home. Uh, the more you struggle, the more you fail. Uh, the more you stay out in the deep, the more you can't make it. Uh, and this is the means of life. Lifestyle, huh? and they were fishermen, huh? and they needed food to survive. And God did not care nothing about that. It's a terrible thing to work all your life. It's a terrible thing to work all week long. And you still don't have nothing to eat. Hallelujah to God. But how do you know that God will make a way? I don't know we. How do you know that you keep your hands in God's hands? Everything going to be all right. Hallelujah to God. You got to press your way. God said, launch back back out. I got to step on your ship. Hallelujah to God. After a while, you torn all night long. Jesus will come by and step in your house. Hallelujah to God. When he step into your house and he realize you don't struggle for a long time. I've been 
dealing with this situation uh, a long time. Uh, I've been struggling uh, with the battle a long time. Uh, I've been having this affliction. Uh, I'm torn on the inside uh, for a long time. Uh, the doctor said no, uh, but I'm still holding on. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, after a while, uh, here comes Jesus uh, in your neighborhood. Uh, here come in your neighborhood. Uh, after you don't struggle, uh, after the doctor say no, uh, after everybody say no, uh, you ain't going to make it. Uh, you ain't going to change. Uh, but I'm here to let you know uh, when Jesus step into your house, uh, uh, to your ship, uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, he going to tell you lost out, uh, but he going to speak a word to you. Uh, he going to tell you thus say the word of God. Uh, hallelujah to know uh, we've been made new for a night, uh, but don't you know that joy is uh, going to come in the morning time. Uh, you just hold on uh, to your chains come uh, after a while, uh, after a while, uh, after a while, uh, after a while, uh, if you hold on uh, just a little while longer. Glory to God. I wish I could preach this thing. I wish I could preach this thing like I feel it. Hallelujah. See, I, I can preach this thing because I'm living it. I'm living it. And I need Jesus to come on board on my ship. Because I am torn all night long. Do I got a witness in here? Do I got a witness in here? Hallelujah to God. I know Trayvon. I know what the doctor say about your sickness, about what you have. But after a while, after a while, after a while, you keep on striving. Keep on coming to church. After a while, God going to come in and take lunch out in the deep and drop your net. After when you drop your net, you got to hear the word of the Lord. People fail. Uh, they get blessed uh, but they don't hear the word of the Lord uh, uh, how can you hear uh, how can you hear uh, without a preacher uh, uh, how can you preach uh, except he been sent uh, by God uh, and you got to come uh, and get on the ship uh, to hear a word from the Lord uh, when God speak a word uh, hallelujah to God uh, everything changed uh, the road been crooked uh, in your life uh, but God can straighten anything out out, huh? Hallelujah. Huh? So what? You made mistakes, huh? but I'm serving a God huh? that he's able huh? to keep you from falling huh? and present your faultless huh? before his presence huh? with a silly joy. Huh? I'm talking about the Savior. Huh? I'm talking about the deliverer. Huh? I'm talking about the healer. Huh? I'm talking about the conquerors. Huh? He got all power huh? in his hand. Nevertheless, had that word, it forever uh, settled in heaven. Uh, that word. Uh, and Jesus uh, has promised us. He promised. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, it's not going to fail. Uh, it's not going to fail. Uh, I know we're going through now. Uh, so what we going through now? You're supposed to go through. Um, hallelujah. Uh, tribulation uh, works as patience. Uh, and patience uh, works as a spirit. Uh, and spirit uh, works as hope. Uh, and hope uh, is shut aboard uh, by the Holy Ghost. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm a kind of all joy. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when I fall down with temptation, uh, I'm a kind of all joy. Uh, hallelujah tonight. Uh, I'm going to stay right here. Uh, until my chains come uh, cause I realize uh, the word say the joy of the Lord uh, is my strength uh, and where his joy is uh, there is strength uh, hallelujah to God uh, and I'm torn uh, I am weak uh, I am torn uh, all night long uh, but I'm still uh, able
able uh, to hear a word uh, and God uh, deliver a word uh, in my heart, uh, deliver a word uh, in my mind, uh, deliver a word uh, in my spirit uh, that I can know for surely uh, you the one. Uh, and sometimes uh, I forget uh, where I come from, uh, but help my unbelief because uh, sometimes uh, I get a loud uh, in my tone. Uh, I get the doubt a little bit uh, when I'm torn. Uh, and God, uh, I knew you would lure me up uh, and let me know uh, I can believe in you. All things are possible. If I just believe, it's going to happen. Uh, it's going to happen. Uh, just to show I'm standing here, God's going to make a way. Nevertheless, baby, nevertheless, uh, at that word, uh, I understand, at that word, uh, at that word, God, uh, that's what you got to tell God. Uh, nevertheless, I don't care, nevertheless, I don't care what, nevertheless, uh, what I feel, huh? nevertheless, what I went through, huh? nevertheless, I ain't bring nothing in, but nevertheless, you spoke it, I'm a counted done, and I counted done, hallelujah to God, and I'm standing firm and on your word, because I realize you're a God that cannot lie, hallelujah to God, I'm going to be like Abraham, I'm not going to stagger at the promise of God, hallelujah to God, if you don't come, I know you're able to come, if you ain't going to do it, I know you can't do it, but I'm getting that out of my vocabulary, do it. Hallelujah. And, uh, do it. Hallelujah. That's what I'm getting that. I got to get positive. Nevertheless, at that word, I'm going to do it. Because if I do it, I, I know I'm going to be blessed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Nevertheless. At that word, I can't do it. said to myself, no. Yeah. We're going to be all right. Yeah. We got our oil. We got our oil. You see our oil? All on the altar. Is this a here for the shape form of basket? Come on, talk about it. We put the oil here because nevertheless, nevertheless. at that word, it's, it's going to happen. It's done. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It haven't happened yet, but it did happen. Yes, sir. It happened. Yes, sir. I'm all I'm already here. I'm already here. Yeah, see, 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 I'm already here. I'm already delivered. It's already done. Hallelujah to God. I know it's done. It's just a process. Hallelujah. It's just a process that I'm going through. It's a transformation that I'm doing. I have to learn how to deal with the done. See, we dealing with that done. Learn how to deal with done. It's done. Come on. Amen. Amen. See, see, power in the tongue, life and death. It's in the power of the done. Stop saying that it's not. It's done. It's done. done. What well, did happen to me? No, it did already happen to you. It's done. It's done. That's it. Speak it, bro. It's done. Oh, I wish I had my struggle. I shall mighty. And I feel good in my spirit. Weak in my body, but I feel good in my spirit. Hallelujah to God. Weak in my body, but I feel good in my spirit. The spirit is willing. Flesh is not. But the spirit is willing. It really, it got to go. And I got the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to God. And it's driving me. Hallelujah to the stop out on his word. War. I know his word, but I'm not, you you know his word, but you're not stepping out on the word. Come on, come on. Come on. We know all the word of God. That's right. And Satan know all the word. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But we ain't really stepping out on it. Come on. Talk about it. You don't believe what you're reading. Come on. 
Learn how to believe what you read. Right, 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 right. You read, you, you, you believe that matters can bottle. When you get that medicine, the prescription, right. you read all about it. You believe every word he say. That's right. That's right. And here's this, 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 this medicine bottle. Yeah. Talk about it. Hey, you turn on the back page of it, and it said, Beloved, above all things, yes, sir. I wish thou prosper and be in good health as thou so prosper. Yes, that, was, that was on the back of the prescription. That you read in front of yes, it. Yeah. That, that's not in the front of the book. That's in the back of the book. Come on. Read the back of it. You said something else. Yes, no. But y'all read the scripture that say side effect. Come on. Come on. You're looking at the side effect. You want something else. The side effect, beloved, is the side effect is healed. Yeah. The scripture say sick. Come on. The side effects is say heal. Yeah, come, come on, come on, come on. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? You, 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 but you, 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 you that prescription say, uh, 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 suicidal. Uh, you get prescription say suicidal thoughts. Come on, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Counsel. Come on. And the first thing you say, I'm not taking that. Then all of a sudden you get a little sickle. Get a little bit more sickle. Right. Then you get a whole lot sickle. Give me that thing, boy. Right. <laughs> it costs it in me anyway, so. Uh, right. Then you want God to deliver you. Come on. Keep talking. Keep talking. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. God can drop in the blood. Right. Amen. The Amen. woman had an issue of blood. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All them years. Yes, sir. And never got healed. Mm-hmm. Until she heard a word from Jesus. That's right. Heard a word. That's right. Heard a word. When Jesus came by, mm-hmm. if I only could touch the hem of his garment. All that you need to do is heal what? See, certain, certain, certain sickness in your body. The doctor ain't going to heal. That's right. That's right. Per se. He don't heal anyway. But certain things going to happen to you that you got to learn to depend on God. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. I'm telling you, Sister Tesla, because he'll make you sit there for a long time until you depend on him. That's right. That's right. You talk to him. People are suffering because they haven't depend on God yet. Amen. Amen. You gotta learn how to depend on him for everything. everything. Not some things, everything. everything. He ain't got no money. He's money. Yes, he is. People don't talk about money, but it is money. You better talk about some money, because it is money. You know what I mean? Because how can you survive without money? How can you buy food without money? How can you put gas in your tank without money? Come on. How can you put clothes on your back besides money? Nobody in here is naked. Amen. How you get them clothes on your back? You Amen. stole it? You talk money. That's right. Do y'all believe that word? Amen. They don't believe it, Mike. <laughs> they don't believe it. Because the scriptures say, seek ye first. Mm. That, that's stop right there. Stop right there. Because that's the problem right there. They don't seek him first. That's, right. that's why they struggle so much. Uh, uh. It says, seek ye first the kingdom. And all, his, and all his righteousness. And all these things should be added. I know what the Gentiles need. I know what you need. Food, raiment, and shelter. He know that. There's three things you need. He knows that. To survive. And we haven't trusted God on that yet. We got 15 jobs. <laughs> you always mess up, don't we? You all right. You all right. The Lord got to come on the back burner on your jobs. Mm-hmm. 
The door is open for a lot of opportunities, but you don't want to take it. Well, Bishop, I ain't like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You got to have a heart for the Lord. See, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm done. I can talk a little bit. Give me time. I'm, I'm done. But you got to understand, I'm a contractor. I've been a contractor my whole life. We don't have, I'm not a contractor now, but well, I was a contractor for 40 years. Contractor. We don't have no, no set hours to work. We go to work, don't know when we come home. Saturday and Sunday was just like Monday and Tuesday. If you're coming on Saturday and Sunday, you can get fired. Contact us. Mm -hmm. We don't don't have nothing. But when I came back to Virginia, and I told the Lord, I come to help my father. I was a contractor. Mm -hmm. I was in church. Spray paint all in my eyes. Pay all in my eyes, come straight to work. Church. Y'all well, you, oh, you all remember that. No, you don't remember nothing like that. You you remember after the fact. You was little, yes, you was born, wasn't you? I couldn't work as is. My dad said, put a robe on, because I'll paint it all up. I had a desire to be in the church. When I feel my obligation out, I told him, I'm not working no Sundays. People fill out applications say Saturday and Sunday because they feel they're going to get the job. That's where they messed up at. Right. They don't trust right. God no more. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm not working no Sundays. Mm-hmm. I put that down. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to get me working on Sunday. Come on. You ain't going to get me working on Sunday. <laughs> no, you're not. They got double time, all that money. You don't give me work, no. No, sir. You don't give me no room. Come here early in the morning. And before, before I, I had that contract, I, I, I signed that, that, that application. I worked with the contractors. Go try the Lord bless me. I had to work on Sundays. I, had, I was the superintendent of the Sunday school department. Y'all remember? Y'all remember I was superintendent of the Sunday school department. First, I had the, the class, the Youth for Christ class. Mm-hmm. I taught the Youth for Christ class. When I taught the Youth for Christ class, my dad had moved me to superintendent of the Sunday school department. Contractor. I was there every Sunday. And worked on Sunday. The boss let me come in early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Let me come in by myself. Three or four o'clock in the morning. Amen. Let me come and work and leave at 8 30 to get to church. Amen. Try the Lord make it work when you have a see, 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 one thing about us is tensely. You, you talk that that you wanna be church, but your heart talk is something different. All right now. Because you're doing what your heart say do. You say, I want to be in the church, but your heart say I got to make it out here. Your heart got to be with your mind. And your mind got to be with your spirit. It can't be no division with the mind, soul, and spirit. I'm talking from the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I'm talking from right now. Mm -hmm. See, we worked at Howard Mac, didn't we? Didn't we work at Howard Mac? We dropped everything. And lower our paycheck to work a high mess so we can at Sangam. And we work nighttime. Y'all don't see me. I'm telling you from the years. Just like work nighttime. Mm-hmm. 365 days out of the year. I ain't miss a day. And I didn't miss church either. Nope. See, God sees that. He sees my heart. So when my wife got stroke to the brain, it won't hurt. And what I did for him. So when I got on my knees and I called on the name of the Lord, he answered my prayer. Yes, because I put money in the bank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And God healed my wife two strokes to the brain. Because 
because I put works in. I said, you know, I work for the Lord. You got to work for the Lord. Your folks want benefits. No work. You got to work. I'm sorry. I want to I bless you. I want to bless the young people. I want to bless you. It's more to it than that. Just a blessing. Turn everything down. Turn all the money down. Money and everything. Some of it is. <laughs> you know you're crazy, right? <laughs> you know, <coughs> you got three, four, you know what I mean? Where's DK? Where's DK? Where is DK? Where is that? No, he must go to church. They him running deep. Oh, you'll be running deep. That don't matter. I, I have to take. I have to take. I have to take my hat off to that man. And he blew my mind. He didn't really blow my mind. He, but I, I, I like what he did. He called me. He ain't no deacon yet, but he gonna be running deacon. And I, I was thinking about putting him a running deacon do the fifty day prayer, Amen. so we can pray himself in. So he he come in as a praying deacon. <laughs> this man called me the other day, and I ain't gonna get into all your business, but I'm just a little something. You know what I mean? This man right here. Look out for he loved the church. And sometimes I know he don't have money. You will never know he don't have money sometimes. The way he do. And he called me, he was taking a second job to work to make ends meet, get himself ready for what's the deal. He called me. And he said, Bishop, I'm filling this application out, but I ain't going to do it, right? <laughs> because it's going to interfere with the church. And I said, you're right. Why get a second job and you get a job with the Lord, with me? Don't make sense. You're right. I'm telling you something. I'm telling you what the Lord will do. The mind set like that, he'll open up a wooden in heaven. Amen. This man going to be blessed beyond me. Just because he want to do the will of the Lord. Amen. The other folks, different mindset. I'm sorry that I messed you. Your room, right, yeah. oh. I want to mess you up. Why am I going to mess you up? <laughs> before you know it, when you start working like that, before you know it, you'll be slacking a lot of things. When you, I said it before, when you're absent, you're absent. That's right. That's right. You're gone. Jesus ain't got no PT. You can't take no personal leave from Jesus. <laughs> this ain't a vacation. You can't take a vacation from Jesus. This death do pop. The devil don't take no vacation. Once you put your hands to the gospel plot, and Bishop said this, he said, you, if you put your hands to the gospel plot and you look his back, you're not fit. And Bishop said, they never put their hands to the plow. <laughs> and I'm about to believe that. We start, we start Jesus, 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 Jesus. 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 Jesus.
all of a sudden, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm going to say this and I'm going to my seat. They always say, why did Jackson do everything? I've been hearing that since I was a little boy. They say, Jacksons do everything. They're always involved in everything. Get somebody else a chance. The reason why Jackson do everything? Because they're here all the time. So they have to fulfill when you leave. That's why we direct all the choirs, because we gave everybody an opportunity to direct. Before you know it, they gone. They faithful for a little while. Right, right, right. Then they bag up. They fall back on the Jacksons. Right, right, right. Where go? That's the gospel truth. See, we could give or leave when we want to. No, you're right, Trayvon. You sure okay? Okay. Can't leave when you want to. Everybody else can leave when they want to. No, you can't leave when you want to. Y'all can leave the time y'all want to. We can't leave when we want to. We still got to work. You got to get off that night shift. We pray that Lord bless you. You get off that night shift. That's a killer. But you can do it. You just got to pace yourself on your sleep. I did it. You can do it. You got a good shift at midnight. All right. Nevertheless, at that word, everything going to be all right. Come on, get God. <laughs> see, see, people. See, people like to do what that virtual? What's it call it? Virtual. That what you call it? Yeah, virtual. I'm about talking about ass. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, sometimes it's, you know, we try to, some people try to start that virtual. You know what I mean? We have a meeting. You have to be virtual. How you do that? Huh? Zoom, zoom in. You know what I mean? And you know why they do that? You know why they do that? You know why they do that? Y'all know why they Zoom, you know what I mean? You stay home and we, we Zoom you all that. You know why you do that? Because they don't want to come to church to fellowship together. That means they have to get out the house and come here. Make it easier for them. Yeah, make it easier for you. I ain't making nothing easier for you. Come on out here. Drive your car. Put that gas in the hand. You meet out here. Hey, come on, have a meeting. We, we virtual. We, we zooming and all that. You ain't doing nothing looking at that TV in the background. Because if you zoom, you got to have my undivided attention so I can talk to you. So you're killing my time already. All right? Okay, you know I mean? That technology that we got going on now, kill that technology. I want to see your face. I want to see the kind of spirit that you have when I tell you no. <laughs> when I tell you no, I want to see your, see, I want to see your face. How you frowning up. <laughs> you get ready for the shut in. Shut in right around the corner. So we got to get our things together for the shut in. I mean, we still have 50 day prayer.
and God going to bless us in Jesus' name. Come on, give God one more praise. We thank you for the sister that came all the way. God bless your mother for being with us in Jesus' name. We're not like this always, but God is still good. Hallelujah. And one thing we believe and we know for surely that God runs the church. Holy Ghost Church. Got to have the Holy Ghost in this last and evil days. Praying for you, Pat. Keep on holding on. Keep on holding on. Don't you fall no more. Don't you fall no more. Use your crutches, whatever you got to do. All right. Mother, you take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Sister Tinsley, you take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I know you get up in age, but it ain't none, none too hard for God. Things started coming upon you. It looked like things coming upon you. But then I'm serving a miracle God. Amen. 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 He opened your eyes in a minute. Yes, he, did. he let you see a spirit. Amen. Don't worry about the deacon love. It'd be all right. Don't worry about a sister love. It would be all right. Keandra, who report you going to believe? Thank you, Jesus. Who are the arm God going to reveal? Never say never. I'm telling you. Where your wife at? Thank God for Thank God for my wife. She in the kitchen. Thank God for you know I mean? she, The devil attacked her body Tuesday. And it shook my head. All my kids round the bed. Laying in the bathroom out. It was an ugly scene. But I seen the willpower. My son was sitting around the bed. Tyler sitting in front of the bed. Trayvon standing there, my daughter. About 7 o'clock, quarter to 7, about 20 minutes to 7. They sitting there. Trayvon, he hollered, Mama, Mama, Mama. Boy, get your butt up and get on out of here and go to church. Tyler's get up and go to church. If God ain't going to do it, it won't be done. But somebody got to get in the house of the Lord. They don't need to stand the three men in here with three powers of the Holy Ghost sitting up in here. No. If I lead, you lead. Let us all go to the church and pray. Let the sisters stay here. Let's go to church and pray that God intervene. Yes, sir. That's where, that's, I'm at that point. And I understand you can't change life. It's going to take its course. And I look at her, she ain't the only one that had a stroke. A lot of folks had a stroke, but it's different when it's at your own house. See, it's different when you're at your own house. But if God did it before, he'll do it again. He'll do it over and over and over and over again. And one thing I'm serving to God, he don't never get tired of doing it over and over and over again. And I ain't getting tired of asking him and over and over again. The scripture says, ask. Seek. Turn the door down. Turn the door down. Turn the door down. Knock out that door. Turn it down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Them 
some words are verbs. Yes, it is. You got to put it to action. Keep on asking. Keep on seeking. Keep on knocking. Keep on asking. Keep on seeking. Keep on knocking. Don't get tired. Ask again. Seek again. Knock again. Until you get an answer. It ain't over. It ain't over. The God says it's over. He said, I'm Alpha and Omega. The beginning and it ended. And the first and the last. All right. Now I'm ready to preach. But I'm going to get on out of here. Mother Harris. I'm going. That's how you say you put your foot on people. Right? You start speaking, keep talking. God will tell something on people. Not a cursing, a blessing I'm talking about. I ain't talking about no cursing. I'm talking about a blessing. We 60, 68, 70 years old. Hallelujah. I know what the scripture said. Three scores and what? Where it say it at? Not under the disregard of grace. Yes, Glory to God. Not under grace. Yes, under the law. Oh, y'all ain't talking about it. He killed him under. You understand? This is grace time. Grace. Not, this is grace. We're not under the law. Grace. We're under grace. Grace, grace and mercy extends. Ain't no limitation to grace and mercy. It's a stance beyond law. Poor this man. I go say, don't get me started here. And we, we caught up on that. I'm past that. I'm like Abraham. I want to live 120 with good health. If I keep my hands in God's hand, don't get to the point that I got to lay down and sit down. This is it. No, that's your heart. This ain't it. This is just the beginning. If God told Abraham to leave his kingdom and go out, I'm the same yesterday, today, and we will take that scripture and bring it over here. You brought that scripture over here, bring that one over here. Then he's talking about being good health in your soul, prosper. Oh, what about that scripture? Y'all going back to Psalms. You go back there, you go back there, it's, it's all, but he fulfilled the law. He fulfilled the law. And what he told us to do with the law, love thy neighbor as thy love thyself. I wonder how old 
Hezekiah was. I wonder how old he was. Huh? Huh? Dave was there. Dave was there during that time. I wonder how he got 15 more years, didn't he? Didn't he know? That was during that time. I wonder who he was talking to. I got to read that strip. I got to look it up. I wonder he was talking to the wicked or the righteous. <laughs> oh, oh, I done messed up. I done messed up. I done messed up. I done messed up. I don't want to say too much. I got to read that scripture again and, and, and look it up, see what he was talking about. Because I'll move myself from that. I'm going over to grace. I'm going to the mercy. Because I should have been dead a long time ago. If I was under the law, I'd been dead. If I was under the law, I would have been dead. If we go by the law, we would have been dead. But we ain't by the law. And Jesus had to go down in the grave and get the people that was due lost during the time of Noah under the law. And gave them the gospel. Now we under the gospel. We under the law no more. We under the gospel. I'm of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He said, live. He said, live. I came and fulfilled the law. I'll bring you to the dispensation of grace. Grace and mercy shall follow you all the days of my life. As long as I got grace and mercy, I can live a little longer. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. Seventy years old. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, three scores and ten. We're in good health. That's what the scripture say. Three scores and ten. How many people don't live past three scores? How many of the wicked have lived past the three scores? So I guess that won't that. How many of the wicked live past three scores? Why y'all get scared? You scared to die? Oh, I know you scared. I know you scared to die. I know you scared to die. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't die neither if I was sinning. I'd be scared to die too. All right. Y'all scared to die? Go ahead. Don't, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Don't even raise your hand because I know you are. Because nobody is not ready. Nobody is ready for the rapture. Just kill that noise. You still got some stuff in you that God need to clean out of you. Because he's coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle or a blemish. And you know you got a spot on you. You got a cabbage patch. <laughs> you know you got a cabbage patch dress. <laughs> you don't take that new wine and try to put it in the old bottle. <laughs> I, 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 ain't, no, ain't no shame in my game. Don't let no preacher fool you think they holy did everything. They still in flesh. That's how we have a great fall away if they wasn't in flesh. And they were called by God. And they got a great fall away. Paul said, I haven't apprehended yet. He said, what did I do? I forget them things. Then what he forgetting? Jesus? <laughs> what he forgetting? Jesus? He said, forget them things was behind. So he left something behind. He did something <laughs> that he know he ain't apprehended yet. He said, but I'm pressing toward the mark of the high call. And when he did 
did what he got to do. Then he quote the scripture. I have finished my course. I had a fourth and final. He started telling that he was ready. Before then, he wasn't ready. That's why he said, I forget. He said, he preached that I don't be a castaway. So he knew he wasn't ready neither. He had too much work to do. But then he did say this. Just for the saints, I stay. But I'd rather be with the Lord. But for you, I'm a, for your sake, I'm going to stay a little longer. I don't know preachers are saying that today. <laughs> Cause daddy said he ain't coming back. Mama said, come on, preach. Nah, <laughs> he ain't coming back. You come over here, Sophie. They got it. They got it. How many mics I got up here? Fifteen? God bless you. Have a most proud on you. Rosemary, hang in there, baby. You're doing a beautiful job, baby. Nothing else to be said. We're going to be dismissed from this place. You know, because of the Lord. We got dinners. Get your dinners. Sit down, relax yourself, and eat. If you don't eat carrot, you know what I mean? Go throw it in the trash. Do what you got to do. But get something. <laughs> Go ahead, OD. Y'all know y'all a piece of work. <laughs> know y'all a piece of work. <laughs> Pat, hang on, hang on in there, baby. You hear me? Hang on in there. It look like your children, your grands, they're going to do nothing, but you keep on holding on. Sometimes the Lord has to work with them longer. I'm going to say something. I'm going to do this. And like you want them to come fast, they're not coming fast enough. And I said the same thing about my kids. I said, Lord, they need to get in the church. And you know what my daddy said to me? He said, I waited 30 years for you. Why you can't wait for them? I came in my 20s. But I won't read it till I got in my 30s. So I'm just letting you know. They coming. Put the seed in them. Give them time. Because hell going to show them to bust out in their life. <laughs> hell going to bust out in their life. Because you should have never got saved. You should have never got saved. You messed up when you received the Holy Ghost. Now, you don't mess up. You can do all what you want to do. You can cuss like Peter. All right. We thank you in Jesus' name. We ain't going to say nothing else. We're going to stand be dismissed from this place. Did we, got in, we did our announcement today. I'm so used to Monday night service. Don't forget, we are going to, we did announce that we go on Saturday. We did announce all that too. Okay. And we got the transportation. How many people would be riding and need transportation to go Saturday? One, two, your whole family? Just the three boys? The whole family? Just the boys? That's three? Four? Okay. Uh, five? Your six? Your daughter going? Just you? Your daughter going to? Seven? Eight? Nine? Okay. You going, Pat? You sure? You sure? You sure? I'm going to ask you once again. You sure? Okay. Yes. Pastor Vivian, I mean, thank, okay, y'all sat on the list up there. You know what I mean? In Jesus' name. All right. We thank you. We thank you. You stand be dismissed from this place for another presence of the Lord. All minds clear the words of my mouth.
melt in my heart. There's something I say. Oh, Lord, my strength, my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace be unto you. Up here. No, I said I got 15 mics. 